Last time on Elden Ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you have for us? Went back down to Stormvale Castle, where the, um, where we fought the um, Grafted Scion, okay, right, yes, yes. with all the limbs hanging. Uh huh. And uh, first things first. I noticed upon re-entry, this painting suddenly has more context now, doesn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that! Sarosh And Godfrey. Uh, uh, is it free? Godfrey. Okay, yes, 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 absolutely. Right? Uh, Sarosh on his back. So we've looked at it, and we now have... Uh -huh. A revisit of that lore, and because we've read about it. Whoa. And yes, new items here as well. But like, so we can see what the like unfucked up version, mm -hmm. right? Like, not grafted, just a just a normal person. So it's well, not a normal person, a, a, a demigod. Ooh, and you found the crimson. And we got hood. a crimson hood, exactly. So, uh. That's cool because there's like literally a painting in Stormvale of the the you know uh, I guess the father of the G family, mm -hmm. right? Um, so what does this hood do? A hooded cloak of vivid crimson worn by expatriated royalty increases vigor. Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on journeys without specific orders to faraway lands from which they would never return. In other words, the gift of a cloak made it easier for undesirable to be on their way. Uh huh. Roderica never once saw the guidance of grace. So the blue, uh, uh this increases vigor. The blue one increased, um, uh, mind by one point. Um, but the description is interesting because, uh, the blue ones were given to those who had specific orders from ro as royalty to go out and complete missions, and the red ones were given to those who had no orders but were just like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, bounce. Exactly. And so we saw her in the shack outside of Stormvale looking pretty dejected. Mm -hmm. And um, then she came to the, the round table and now she found, found purpose. But like, her not having purpose is kind of contextualized by the fact that she had this hood mm -hmm. and shows that like yeah she was not she was undesirable you know so like it, it makes sense that she would like take up a calling that you know of like spirit tuning if that's if that's what she can yeah. be made uh, useful with or, or so um, and we found this hood on the pile of bodies right that was like originally when we were going through the castle the first time it wasn't there comes afterwards so maybe someone else had it and their body was tossed on the pile where the dogs were you know Ooh, yeah um uncertain but either way that's where it was found and uh you know it doesn't necessarily have to be the, the exact same one that Roderick was wearing but the fact that she was wearing one now you kind of know the implications of that you know uh, and the blue one, which was found getting ripped apart by a bunch of fucking cannibal grannies, mm -hmm. not much better <laughs> of a fate ultimately. Yeah. But, but there is a, a connection between the two, so that's interesting. Uh, also, I've wanted like a fucking hood scarf type thing, so fuck yeah. So let's test. Out, this is testing out the briar. Uh, oh yeah, it's supposed to does damage them. when you roll. Um. I guess it counts as a hit. A little bit. A little bit. Testing out other stuff, though. When you add the, the step oh, to it. Oh, the step also works. Yep. Just a little stagger. Step yeah, does counts. a little more damage as well. And then... <laughs> testing out... Theo. Or flow, yeah. Or fl is it flow? I flow? Yeah. flow, yeah. Um, How did he look? Well, uh... He moves. Hell yeah. I I appreciate it. Decent rate of attack? Yep. Backs off. Gets right back in. Yep. And he chops. 
Oh, yeah. Solid. He's doing a job. He's Solid. Doing his job. So he can eat. We'll feed him some. <laughs> we'll feed him some glove wart. That's 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 a uh, performance worth eating. And then Jarl White. He wants to be put into the warrior jars. Oh wow! That was a lot of hits on that projectile. Dung, variety fire, oh, oh. fire. He's tossing. That's kind of good. It's all right. It's all right. He's squishy uh, as it as it stands. Um, probably better with upgrades, but <laughs> just the loin cloth. <laughs> but he's tossing out stuff, you know, and it's just like yeah, like poison and rot and who like how, how who knows how many types of tosses, but. The, Look at him. Yeah, that's some goofy shit. <laughs> I'd be afraid. I mean, who needs clothes if you're if you're going in the pot anyway, right? <laughs> Why complicate the matter? Um, but uh, he's tossing shit, and I feel like depending on the resistance of whatever you're fighting, that can come in handy because some things have high resistance to a bunch of shit, but then like weak to one particular type of ailment, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Um, that's the jar white. Uh, I went back to the church where nice. I, where Yuna, with the hood, where Euro was found. Yeah, Second Church America. Whoa, what's going on here? One of these fuckers came out, who I fought in the on the way to Moog, and I realized something um, because coming back here, uh, that popped up. The first time I encountered that was actually not at. Mog's the Mogwin Palace, but in the Blood Temple where I first met Vare, or where I second met Vare. The Blood Church. The Blood Church, exactly. So Vare moved over to the Blood Church. The first time I walked into the Blood Church, one of these guys popped up in okay, the church yeah. and attacked me, and I was like, "What the fuck are you?" Right, and uh, then Vare was out front. And then you follow his his uh, quest line, and you get led back to the place where these guys come from, right? So, um, this second church now, I'm wondering, like, are the rose ch is the rose church like is that a corruption of a church of Marica uh, that's being repurposed and rededicated to Mogwin? Oh, you know, could that be what start the dynasty? Yeah. Right, maybe right okay. because like the fact that that one that was over in the on the lake where we met Vare was like completely t t like taken over and like there was the roses, the blood rose everywhere and then the growth of like you saw the blood like up against one of the walls mm. there um, it was a big pile of just fucking blood meat rose whatever yeah. it was and he was popping up out of that and like surely you know followers of Moog would like love that so I'm wondering if like this second church America that we found here like if maybe there's something to it Right, there's a like a per a point at which like a church can be rededicated towards that uh, following instead of like the purpose of following Marika. Maybe, it's right? Possible, yeah. Possibility. Either way, that dude's uh, attacking now. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to the robes as well. Good times. Mm -hmm. Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, I like it. Spot here. Hello. Just chilling. Yo. Ah. We meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. We Ooh. have the prosthesis. Boom. We can give her the prosthetic. Are you giving me this arm? Oh, thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think if the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. And yeah. she has memory issues, right? So it seems right and that's where i started wondering yeah and that's that's the end of what she says for now hmm. and that's what that got me really thinking i'm like was the result of the battle with radon one where they both and well 
we know that there was no winner, right? So they both ended up fucked up. Radon ended up in the state we encountered him in. And is it possible that this is the state she ended up in? All right? And like, you know, the, the I mean, I don't know how... They both lost themselves, basically. I don't know if we are... I, I don't know, right? This is this is Millicent. We don't know what, what else that might be. Uh-huh. But um, the, the fact that, like, she's missing her arm there uh i don't know why but i do know that like is it like is she's also like a source of scarlet rot right uh, is it like the attack on radon was like something that, i i don't know you know maybe like the attack on radon was like uh, uh so massive that like it had that effect you know uh, of like fucking up the area and fucking up her and fucking up Radon, but Radon survives it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then his knights are still about running around in the, in the rotted area. They're stuck. But they're all fucked. Like, everything's fucked up yeah. and, like, you know, they're, they're you know, you, you still see their, them uh, uh, at, at um, uh, Redmain Castle, but, like, the whole beach area and all that, like, maybe that's the result of just the, the pure form of Scarlet Rot as an attack, you know, when in that battle. Um, but, uh, whatever. It's just guessing in the dark, right? Yeah, we're trying to figure it out. But, uh, we got a, we got a prosthetic. It fits. Um, it's also... Mm-hmm. And, um... Yeah, and, and there's the other piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle, rather... Uh, to consider is the shaded castle and the uh, the the Marois mm-hmm. and uh, what it means to say that like he saw his own goddess, right? When like we saw the painting on the wall and such, and like basically like abandoned like whatever his duties were because he started to follow that that um, that dream, you know. Uh, so. Yeah, let's find out more about Millicent as we go. But it's interesting, certainly possible, uh, that like the result of this battle that nobody won has uh, both of these characters in Kalid in states that are not what they once were. Uh-huh. You know, that's certainly a possibility if they are in fact the if if that's who Millicent is, and if it's not, then there's still like some similarity of the connection there and her source of being Scarlet Rot. You know? It's possible. Cool. So, riding around the area that we were in just outside of the Altus Plateau gates. The heck is this? So, um, remember where the flower was on the left side? On the right side was this. Whoa. T-pose for dominance. And or making contact. <laughs> but you'll find out about that later. Hole ahead and then be wary of dog. Although really, it's all about A-posing these days. No one T-poses anymore. Is that a thing? Oh yeah, A-poses. Yeah, if you're, doing, if you're doing 3D modeling and you're rigging characters, you're not T-posing anymore. You're A-posing. Okay. We've, we've, we've long since moved on. Intimidating. It doesn't stretch the underarm uh, um, vertices out as much. Hello? Whoa. Falling Star Beast. I know that name. <laughs> Yeah. Where'd you come from? This time of day, right out here in the front yard. Outside. Yep. I miss wild. Open space, though. Now, just to... It's like, yep, you don't... Right. Quick check on that damage. You do not care about being hit physically. But I remember what you were weak to. Whoa. You hated magic. Whoa. 
Damn. That gravity, though. Always scary when beasts can cast magic. Will it hit? No, too far. How much damage? Oh, good damage. Still hates magic. A falling star beast. And in the area leading up to this, a bunch of, like, zombies were digging in the dirt. Like, they were, you know, tasked with, like, mining mm. through in the ground, so... Yeah, not sure where that portal that he came out of is connected to, but... Uh-oh. Ah, oh, we go, we go, we good. I wonder if the name means that, like, it fell. From the stars? Yeah. It, it certainly is an implication. It pops. 800. Right. Now... Okay. Take the horse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We live in? <coughs> Pixels? Uh oh. <laughs> Body. <laughs> Body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... That's a thing. Anyway, so here's the deal, right? You're seeing a crater. You're seeing glowing energy. And as you approach it, um, and these dudes are doing their weird worships. And then as you approach it, that pops out. So um, reasonable assumption is Radon was also holding back these things mm. from the stars. Makes me curious about what bit the Earth, the the star that bit the Earth in Limgrave, is it? Somewhere. Yep. There's that's the meeting point, right? But uh, ouch. But the first time we saw one of these was inside of a mine. Uh huh. You know, which is wild because it's like, oh shit, when did that happen? Um, but yeah, it is very reasonable to assume that like the process of holding back the stars is doing a whole lot more than just uh, allowing him to ride his horsey it's holding back the beasts <laughs> from landing on the earth and you know so there was one falling star beast in the Celia crystal tunnel yep that's the one that I fought uh, in the tunnel that was a trap that we teleported to and it it was it was taking zero damage the first time. Well, <laughs> dude, that's a solid beast. Yeah, and it, it also was the one that gave me my first uh, smithing stone sixes, I think. <laughs> Any luck with the threes? We don't talk about the threes. <laughs> Yep. So break down when you get you when you when yeah when this thing tackles you on horseback, torrent absolutely gets one shotted, and then that menu message has to come up saying, "Hey there, we've noticed that you have fallen off your horse. Would you like to get back on? In order to do so, please read the end user license oh, agreement no. and click I agree. Be sure to scroll all the way to the bottom before you can get back on torrent, though. <laughs> this will take at least one of your sips." Scroll down to continue reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single worst feature in the game. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> if anything, there should be an option to like, turn it off. It automatic. Yep. Just I push the button, consume the flask. Don't ask me for shit. And we failed. And he drops. No. Yes. Somber five, smithing five, gravity stone fan, and gravity stone chunk. Eh. Eh. I ain't shaking a stick at it. And this fucker's in here like, oh, we were worshiping that asshole. 
Now what are we gonna do? You were there the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Just watching with popcorn? Um, yeah. So, like, the stars are alive. Yeah, more at more at cool. six. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, so we picked up an altered uh, Aristocat garb. Mm-hmm. Um... And back by the windmills. Oh, what's going on here? Dominula. The windmill village. Well, we haven't seen that. Certainly haven't. And more dancers. Yeah. So, I lit up the grace and haven't gone in. Okay. The windmill village. We've got a village. Very interesting. Um, back over where I was being pelted by the trebuchets. Yeah. Uh, there was an ash. The lightning slash, mm-hmm. which kind of looks like a lot of other things, like Sacred Order and... Yes, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's the first fucking ash that grites light, lightning affinity to an armament. Cool. We've only had Blessed and Sacred up until now. It's the, we finally actually have Bolt call down a bolt of lightning into armament then swing it down to create an explosive shock the armament retains the lightning enchantment for a while swords axes and hammers i was wondering why like where is it lightning damage was so like rare up until this point perhaps in the uh, perhaps uh, more so in the uh, incantations you know but like this is the first ash that actually lets us put it on a weapon um right further beyond that point was a, a tower with some golden arrows. And in that tower were some golden arrows. Um, carved arrows made in tandem with the Earth Tree bow deals holy damage, highly effective against those who live in death and able to prevent them from rising again. And once again, I question, does anyone, like, is anyone bothered by the fact that you're using pieces of the Erd Tree as arrows? Because the last weapon we saw seemed to imply that that was not a particularly blasphemy exactly you know um desirable thing so you got arrows now disposables probably should go collect them after you're done killing whatever you do with them mm. near that was a great bow for the first time yep as well as uh, some great arrows enormous great bow larger than any man cannot be drawn with an any ordinary level of strength but the force of his shots is extraordinary great bow can only fire great arrows and the skill is through and through. <laughs> so, just a little visual note here. Some of these dudes hold chests. And when they hold chests, they drop cash. Ten. So look out for zombies holding chests. Golden rune ten. Okay. Yeah. Eyes, eyes open for that. Yeah. Dead money. Uh... Under the bridge with Gold Mask and um, Corin, there was a Grace. Interesting. So that's all, like way below. Yeah. Okay. I've also been trying to figure out my horseback weaponry. Uh, I invested some upgrades into uh, the flag. I invested some into the uh, the Lucerne. And um, an, an axe, I think. A couple of other things, you know, because there's some options now. Certainly having like, lightning as an affinity is a fun thing that, that can be played with. But having a secondary horseback weapon for range, you know. Um, but I've been fucking around with the, uh, the, the, the flag for now. It's probably not going to pay off in the long run because it's ju- it doesn't scale with uh, int at all. Okay. But um, it's fun. Uh, I noticed as well, because I was going through... Um, the various armaments and, and, and what is compatible with what and I was looking for stuff with range so I was rereading the Omen Killer Cleaver and just a just a note that um, it says that it's made of amputated Omen horns yeah. so uh, I guess when we like I guess take taking note like that there was do you remember um, Margit being like full of horns because I, that's not. Um, so I'm just like, okay, keep in mind things with horns, possibly omen related. You know? I don't remember. I don't remember either. 
but it was a very long time ago, yeah. so I don't think we can be blamed for that. But keep in mind, if you see horns, it might be omen related. I see. You know? And I feel like that could be something that's like sneakily used in some way if you see someone with a little horn sticking out mm-hmm. or something. So just a detail that popped up on this uh, this item over here. Uh, Does that mean that the shackle would maybe work on them? If we find another like... Well, the shackle was directly named Margit's shackle. Right. It might be only Margit. Maybe. Yeah. Right? Um, but I'm thinking just if it says here that omen horns amputated are used to make this weapon, anytime you see someone with horns, they might be. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Didn't Moak have horns? He had yeah. two Almost horns. Is. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's maybe like that. <laughs> maybe like that, right? Wow. Wow. He's yeah, that's true. Let's keep an eye out for horns. For horns. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's good. And you know what? Just because you said that too, let's go back and look at Margaret's shackle. Okay. Um Because, yo, what if? <laughs> what if? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so, we, uh, right behind uh, Bach was mm-hmm. Protection of the Earth Tree up on the, the little side here. What does that do? Superior incantation of Earth Tree Worship. Increased damage negation for all affinities except physical for both the caster and nearby allies. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. In the beginning, everything was in opposition to the Earth Tree, but through countless victories in war, it became the embodiment of order. Mm-hmm. So, doesn't that sound like the Earth Tree took over? The dragons existed. We knew they existed. Yeah, and we knew there was a time before. Right, and we knew that they fought against them, and um, but uh, God free uh, eventually joined, right, and and like uh, grew to be friends, but uh, or uh, allies rather. But um, in the time beforehand, uh, yeah, it's this. If you're putting this together, Urtree shows up, and then like that takes over. And that becomes the new order. Yeah. But it's not as if the assumption from the get-go we had of, like, this giant god tree in the sky is the creation of all things. Yeah. No. That, there were other things. There were th- there were things before. And that was a moment in time that happened, and that was a paradigm shift. You know? So now that we've been under the earth tree for a period of time, like, this is just the default, but it was not always the mark of order. Certainly, and people who were fighting for it or, or protecting it or whatever at one point in time were the new weird outsiders, you know? Yeah, replaced. So that's interesting. Back by the cannibal area, we were, um, we came out of the Gelmir Hero's Grave. Okay, yeah. And we walked down, um, the side path where the, the, the guard tower was but we never i never walked behind the pumpkin head so okay. this is the path right behind the pumpkin head yeah i see some items at the far end there so we didn't come here what the fuck okay it's a scion with holy weapons and one of those shields also now that we got the numbers we got some new shit to try out. Kamehameha! Oh, you got it. You got it. Comet Azur. We had it. We got it from from Azur when we met him. But now we're hit. We finally hit sixty. Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> so we can finally cast it. Wow! It's been a and long it time like coming. As well. It pierces. So that is my... That is my range. That is my damage. Oh! Still went through. Yeah. Boom. (laughs) With the 
the flag going. With the flag. Raise your flag. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. So we have uh, a spell to replace damage and distance and drains the full bar, but it's everything. Um, it takes three slots. Three? It takes three memory slots to equip Comet Azer. I hope it's worth it. I hope it's worth it then. But you don't want to have like the maximum amount of spells. So I, dude, I have too many yeah, slots. Yeah, you have too many, yeah. That is great. <laughs> I have no problem reducing those slots, so I'm very happy. It replaces um, uh, Miriam's bow for me. And it replaces the uh, Glintstone Comet um, I was using, the uh, Glintstone Meteorite, perhaps it was. Um, so it's going to... It can have those slots. Yeah. And I can take off, um, um, like, Eternal Darkness, for example, which I almost never use. But I'm sure a circumstance stance will come up where it'll be helpful. But, like, we'll equip it if we need it. Okay. Right? In the meantime, I'm dodging magic, and then I'm, I'm, I'm getting in. But like, yeah, that for if we need a specific situation to absorb like a giant big magic attack, we can just equip it on, you know. Um, Margit seems kind of horny. Margit is full of horns. You you just grab the footage. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. Yep. His head is all horns. Margit Agil Crucible episode thirteen. There you go. And Moog has horns as well, and and, and in fact, um, similar size being too very big right so also two both m's on their names i, mm -hmm. I don't know if that means anything or not but <laughs> uh, okay so omens yeah horns horns cool um yeah that spell is awesome we've equipped that and we're gonna be rocking with that and Good beams. it'll simplify the list a little bit also it means we can do some switching up on the um on the staff as well, so uh, we'll take a, a look uh, right nearby. Was this scavenger's curved sword? It looks kind of awful. Unique curved sword, notched like shark's teeth. Weapon carried by corpse pillagers who prowl the sites of old battles. The blade is tacky with blood and covered in hefty nicks, making it totally uneven. Life can be sinister indeed. Indeed. Yeah, that's gonna be a disgusting wound if you get cut by that. Prox bleed. And right behind it is a ladder to God knows what. Aha. So we must investigate. Point of interest. Okay. Uh, rounding out the area where those trebuchets were. Found another grace. Where the lightning was striking. Mm -hmm. Just down here. Rampart side path. Mm -hmm. And... Um, a message that I ran into said, Visions of Storm, therefore strong foe ahead. Wow, okay. So, hmm. let Maybe. Zubaz know we're coming. <laughs> 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 yeah. So that's interesting. Um, And that's it. Yeah. Good. And now we return to Elden Ring. <laughs> um, let's do some investigating, shall we? Yes. Ooh. Get on your horse. Get on your horse. Welcome back to the Altus Plateau. Pop, pop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, just to look at what we were discussing. Um, we were talking about the shackle. Margaret's shackle, indeed. It's considered a tool. Uh-huh. A 
fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. Mm -hmm. and these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles will still remain vestiges of power, enough to trap the once bound market on Earth, if only for a short time. There you go. Okay. So they're made specifically for their people, and this one was made for Margit. Cool, cool. Shout out to the context clues. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the other thing I did, so after upgrading the um, and getting enough to be able to cast that spell, looking at our staffs, I went and I started looking at the um, the numbers of what these staffs look like when they, you know, when you upgrade them in the long run. Okay. And yeah, uh, Meteorite definitely is strong for a long time, but once you start hitting around where we are right now, it loses out. I see. Right, and Meteorite is the only staff you can't upgrade. So um, I kind of, uh, I incorrectly was um, thinking that there was going there was other staffs like that and that's not true so uh game volume might be a bit loud so all right one second <laughs> it's the lightning let's it's drop that down and let's move shocking let's move <laughs> that's okay no problem oh Let's go to here, for example. <laughs> Non-stop. Like, come and see me. Come here. Uh, so the, the, um, the staves. Yeah, so this is the only one that doesn't upgrade. And that, uh, all the rest, when you do, uh, there's a point at which the damage is overtaken, you know? Uh, for this one, we're already past it. So, 250 at plus 15 is better than 244. You know? Okay, yeah. Um, these two, the Lusat and the Azur, mm -hmm. are... Um, they they have other advantages. So, this one has um, extra FP, reduces casting time. And this is extra damage on your sorcery, but, addition, but costs extra FP. Okay. I don't want those. I don't want to lose per cast, you know, unfortunately. But these are competitive in terms of, like, the amount of damage you're outputting. Overall, Academy Glintstone staff is pretty solid okay. uh, for the scaling I'm going to get from it. And um, so we're going to switch off. And while the Meteorite staff, extra damage on Gravity Sorcery, it's uh -huh. like, I, th I think it said it's plus 30% is what it said. So That's it's, it's significant. Yeah. Um, but... But the damage we're going to get from every other spell, as we stick with uh, a different staff, is going to pay off. So we're going to, um, yeah, we're switching off to the Academy Glintstone stuff, and we're going to keep upgrading this as the difference between, um, like, each point of upgrade turns that S better and better, which means that, like, um, the jump from, say, like, 59 to 60 in intelligence shoots that sorcery scaling from like 250 to like 256. Okay. That's huge, you know? Give or Good take. Numbers. Like it's big jumps with each point in intelligence and like that's what real S scaling is, is supposed to be, yeah. right? Um, so yeah, we're holding on to that staff. Um, and uh, yeah. That's that's that, and we got we got our nice little crimson hood, and mm -hmm. we're enjoying it. And like I said, I might pull, style. I might use a different pole arm um, at some point. I kind of was liking the, the the lance, you know, for a bit, but the flag is fun, and it's charged R two uh, on horseback has a very fun. Yeah, it's like a secondary stash, stash. effect. It's the double swing. Uh, uh. You get that big crumple. Mm -hmm. And a launcher, baby. <laughs> yeah? Fuck him up. I'm down. Fuck him up. So that's a lot of fun. <laughs> I do not 
Uh, I do not dislike that. A couple other, a couple other pole arms halberds have that effect on them too. Cool. So I know we sat at the Altus. Ah, the ladder. But let's just uh, find out what's going on. Um. Oh, punching on the ladder. That's that's true. That's a thing. You yeah. can't get squashed, kicked down. It's a big ladder. Yeah. And uh, we also haven't checked in on our friends in a minute. So, mental note to Your go do friends. that. Which ones in particular? Well, the, the NPCs, you know. One of these puppets, ready to do its fucking breakdancing shit. Uh, we got another ladder over there. Flying puppet with fire. Yeah, seems to keep going up. We've run into those before. Okay, we are climbing. Oh, well, according to the map, we're climbing up to the top north of the burnt dirt tree. Mm. So... Um... Where the manor, surely. Rykard, probably crisped his minor earth tree. Oh no. What have you done? I, I was holding <laughs> up. I was holding up. Whoops. Still haven't figured that one I out. I don't huh? understand. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> trying to go forward not backward why does it do that how like <laughs> that's fucking strange <laughs> okay okay to tonight we're that. gonna sit down <laughs> and and do it till it makes sense because i we've discussed it twice before uh -huh. and it's because it was a problem and that 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 sucked it needs to make sense Um, because we were locked on, facing, and I held the direction of him. Uh -huh. And you still went back. And I went backwards. Hmm. Aiming with the camera. I don't know. There's definitely something weird happening, huh? Because cause it, it also follows what I want, like, at other times. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. I almost used it again. <laughs> and then where was Forward. the bad guy? Forward. Locked on. Oh yeah, I'm wearing two pieces of uh, of the briar of the briar set, so it's minimal damage. But it might result in some interruptions. Which I certainly don't mind. What does this say? You stepped past the target, and while the camera was locked, while in mid-step, you queued up another step while the camera was positioned in lock. I only tapped the Bloodhound step button once. I did not tap a second time. So you held up, but the orientation was down. Well, that will be for tonight. <laughs> hmm. It definitely has something to do with the lock on. I know that because when it's whenever it's gone backwards, it's only been while locked on. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so he's got another ladder over there. Item over there. Still going up, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's a that's a big plateau. Who did that? Boom. I see. No wings. Just jumped. If okay. the grafted scion was the first 
uh, line of defense, are we going to be f met with further defenses of puppets? You know? Mm. Uh, yeah, that one's a bit higher up there, so. Okay. Just keep in mind the second pathway. Might be able to drop to that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I would think so. That that looks possibly doable. Bird ahead, but didn't expect fire. fire. Beautiful ahead. Ah, oh, welcome, dear customer. Oh, yes, right this way. <laughs> right this way. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Try you know, defeating one by one merchants. <laughs> you know what? I've seen worse places for merchants. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Uh -huh. Please, buy something. At least he I'm called angry. to us to let, he, let us like, know hey, he was there. So Over well. here. Please. All right. What you you can eat up. Uh, we got a stone sword key. We got a cookbook. Volcano pot. Roped volcano pot. And then, ooh, we got some new clothing. Oh, by the way, I, I think someone implied that Arteria leaves can't be farmed. I think they're, that they're one of a kind in, when you pick them. So okay. probably that's why I shouldn't be selling them. But, yeah, all right. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Because the main usage they have is making the really good um, perfuming things that I yeah. don't use. Yeah. But I don't mind having, you know, the, a couple of those around. So, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. I, I can also just continue not using the perfume, but it's it's you know I'll I'll, I'll be sure to try and try and use it for a, at least a bit there. Cool. Yeah, you're doing fine without them. So uh, okay, so we got these, and then we've got the guilty hood, coarse hooded cloak of olive brown, the garb of those accused of lesser crimes, indicated by the color of sharpened branches. Ooh. Okay. Confessor hood. Black hood for blending in with the darkness worn by church confessors. The churches outside the lands between, dedicated to the teachings of the two fingers, send confessors out to follow the guidance of grace. Okay. The confessors are loyal servants to the two fingers, ready to hunt down and quietly dispose of their enemies. Uh, this was a starting class? Yeah, okay. The churches send confessors to follow the guidance of grace, mm -hmm. and they're dedicated to the teachings of the two fingers. Yeah, this was one of the starting sets that you could, one of the starting classes you could pick. Um, so that's a, that's a, that's almost like sounds like a different job from what the tarnished are up to. Mm. But uh, clearly, you can, I guess, be both. Uh, confessor gloves. Uh huh. Yeah. Black have we gloves. have we met any confessors uh, in title uh, by description? If you control F, that. Let me check. Uh, cool. I love hoods. Let's get the set, and then we can also buy. Uh, Crepus was a head confessor. Crepus. Crepus, uh, who served the two fingers. Uh, volcano pot. Uh, get the key. We'll come back for the cookbook, or just sell for ah, it. How nice these! Cool. So we met at least one. Uh, yeah, it was three thousand, right? So that is less than a thousand, and then. Will you accept mushrooms and berries, my friend? Can I interest you? <laughs> Can I interest you in some fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables? Perhaps six hundred and thirty-nine mush. While we're here, uh, not that. Don't sell that. Mm-hmm. There you go, about a hundred for those. And then 
seven hundred in berries. Thank you. Cool. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's check out the volcano pot. What does it do? Red main fire what? pot. Oh, when did I get this? Uh, engraved with the crest of red maned lion, threat enemies to inflict heavy fire damage. Even today, the survivors of Radan's battalion employ fire to stave off the scarlet rot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Volcano, uh, volcano pot. pot. Powdered volcanic rock is sealed inside. Throughout enemies disperse a cloud of heat, dealing continuous oh. damage to those caught inside for a short duration. Fire gas. So that's what the jar white was doing when it did like multiple hits. And maybe? it stayed active. Yeah. yeah okay. So it's, yeah. That it's, looks really good. It's it's fire gas. Because there's like freezing gas and you know um, poison certainly. Interesting. Well, I'm not a big pot user, but. Same can't be said for everyone in this room. <coughs> but uh, we'll test out the pots for the damage. Yeah, I'm always down for some pot testing. Uh, this goes up. Yeah, let's go up and then see if we can walk back down. Higher. God, I didn't have to build this ladder. Right? Why is it always snake? Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Merchant ahead. If you go down. Oh, we got a graveyard. And the boys. Boom. Damn, what madness. Crazy eyes, crazy eyes. Yeah. Annoying. Oh, I'm used to the guard break. But, uh, all right, you got some higher defenses. Um, so in testing out the polearm uh, option, I was also looking at the Scarlet Rot one, which was pretty cool. We have that one blade that inflicts Scarlet on people, which is oh, nice. Yeah, true. Um, but, uh, oh, it's Volcano Manor from the side. Due to a weird ass bug, um, I upgraded it to point to level six to see if I could inflict uh, like cold and scarlet rot at the same time. Uh -huh. And there's a bug where if you upgrade it past level five, it no longer does any scarlet rot damage um, if you put cold in it. So that that's a huge that's a bug that FromSoft needs to fix. It's it's such a weird one, but essentially that you can't put both. Uh, you could have to, you, you, if you can't do cold and scarlet rod at the same time, flat past level five. So I'm like, okay, if I wanted to do the damage I want, I want, I definitely want it past level five though. So uh, that sword goes back because yeah. of that weird bug. Um, and then the other one was the, uh, we have one weapon that does madness, but it causes madness to you too. So, yeah. it's, so it's like, you would probably want to put high madness <laughs> resistance gear if you want to use that. But the effect of madness damage might be interesting to see on enemies, right? The assault on Volcano Manor. The squalid, the sick, the blasphemous. A wretched, unending war with no glory. Huh. By who? Against Reichard. I mean, I guess his old family, right? Mm. Any who would not want the earth tree burnt down are probably like, can we go fuck up Volcano Manor? <laughs> Stands to reason. There's some grace. Okay. Are we just coming at the manor from a side path? Or for, for perhaps from the front path? 
Um, well, let's keep in mind that ladder over there. And then the initial one that we turned off of as we saw the merchant. Ooh, we got purple. And yeah, madness up here. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Everybody lost it. Interesting. I wonder why. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? 2 H. On a horse. <laughs> Get the leg. It's so sick, dude. Yeah. Madness is going on up here. Why? Oh! Could that be what is causing some of the catabolism? Could the same affliction from over by the Eye of Sauron oh, be what's making these dudes like... Uh, get all cannibalistic, but the old ladies weren't glowing yellow-eyed, certainly. So, and the cannibals we killed down there weren't glowing yellow-eyed either. So yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it might just be big mad demi-humans. That never, if I was an enemy, I'd just walk away Dude, from Dude, it never gets old. <laughs> the moment I saw that launcher, I was like, we're fucking flagging. <laughs> we're flagging for a minute. Red flags everywhere. Oh, man. And I want some good damage, but <laughs> that is so cool. Nice. We got a cave ahead. Demi-human. <laughs> Like, there's always a moment in, you know, like, Braveheart or one of those movies where, like, someone gets lit up on horseback, you know? <laughs> like... Like obliterated. Obliterated. <laughs> and that's one of those. That's what that looks like. You just see, like, like someone with their limbs flying, like, guts just fucking cleave them. Um, and it doesn't hurt in the midst of battle to flex a little bit sometimes. Yeah. You know? I that would buff your ghost too, right? It would buff the ghost too. Interesting. I wish I wish I could make it um, care about intelligence. Mm. Just or, or I wish there were more flags. Volcano cave. Interesting. Okay. Marked. We'll come back in a second for that. Yeah, there's more outside to see. The bridge. I'm hoping we'll connect back to the road of inquiry. Iniquity. Well, iniquity? Okay, yes. Because that's where we... Um, that's where we stopped. Uh -huh. Walking out of Volcano Manor. And we'll be back for the actual zone once uh, I do more of those missions. Another? Yeah. This is the ninth Mount Gilmere campsite. <laughs> okay. Count them. Well, are we going to need Sherpas to get us up to the top? Pass by Green Jacket? Too high up? Yeah, we got a shortcut. That's the fun way up. Butterfly ahead. God. Butterfly ahead. Oh, PTSD. How safe is it? Uh, wow. It's safe. And it's a view. Yeah, that looks like... Whoa. Oh, that looks like a crossing point. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Let's do it the fun way. Oh, how high? How high can you go? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Full grown! We got tags now? Oh, god damn it, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't waiting for that! Oh, Jesus Christ. This one has reached maturity. Oh, that's that's a lot of damage. Uh -huh. uh, uh, rather, a lot of defense for a really strong smell. I don't have that tackled. many sips. Don't get tackled. Oh, you're almost out of the blue? <sighs> well, it's a full sip cost. Okay, I need to bait something out of you first. I'm not- I'm not swing- I'm not casting on the neutral. Not threatened. Fuck it. I'm casting on the neutral. No, I'm not! There we are. Da -da 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 -da. Do three of these. <laughs> Fuck me. Interrupted. FP not spent, though. We're good. Yep. Okay. Alright, we're gonna need a better... A better cast here. Zap. Big one? Okay. Uh, ha! Out of range. Oh, damn it. What a waste. We <laughs> no. are gonna have to learn the hard way. The beast knows the range. We are gonna have to learn. Alright. You good horse? Torrent socket, torrent socket. That felt good. Oh, was that a crumple? Yo, what's going on? What is this? Big AoE. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. I'm done. Uh-oh. Boom! Right off your horse. Uh-oh. The combo. Is that Rugal? Woo! Uh-oh. Okay. You better drink. Okay. You're dead serious? <laughs> I'm sorry? I thought you were clowning. <laughs> My bad. That's a grown ass beast. Yep. You're buffed now. You're not happy. Uh oh. Completely whiffed. Big one. Out of sips. Oh. All right. Oh. No. How are you going to do this? The old school way. By getting murdered. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there's a range to it. There's a range to it. Okay, we're good. Oh, so little damage. Nothing. Let me see if my fists do any better. Even though the... Yeah, my fists are better, yeah, but the range do. is fucked. Uh-oh. Wiling out. Big tail swipes. Damn. Yep. yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I frames, I frames. Come on, buddy. And then three. And the big lunge. Not over the cliff. Tail swipe. Oh, God. Two. Giant. Oh, oh. Get that butt. That was close. Yeah. Take that last one. You got one more flask. That's that's huge. 
Oh my god. You gotta be careful. Watch the aura. Final flask. The cleaner. Oh, this is not looking good. We're out of everything. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. I need one more. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Oh sh <laughs> Dodging everything at the end. Dodging everything. Feel my pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Did you breathe? Did you breathe in no. the last 45 seconds? Did not. Did not. <laughs> Clenching. Falling star beast jaw obtained. Nice. Some spinning stone. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on. Come Damn. on. Get that money. Come on. <laughs> okay, 25k in your pockets. Not bad. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was full grown. Full grown. Full grown. Grown ass falling star beast. <laughs> um, was it a talisman? Uh, maybe a weapon? Uh, I'm not sure. Nope. Yeah. I want to say weapon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 34 strength required. Mm -hmm. 20 int. 20 int, damn. Scales at E. Does magic damage. Part of a falling star beast's jaw. Hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon. Mm. With its sharp point, this colossal weapon can skewer foes. Unique skill, gravity bolt. Imbue the jaw of the falling star beast with gravitational lightning, sending a bolt crashing down a short distance away. Can be fired in rapid succession. Shoutouts to Samson in the Bible, using the jawbone of an ass to, to fight his way out of uh, uh, basically in an unwinnable situation. Oh. Um, and shoutouts to the idea of just taking a piece of an animal and swinging it as a weapon. Mm -hmm. Very Bone cool. Club. Usually reserved for strength and or, you know, more like primal kind of builds. So the fact that this is kind of int based is pretty sick. Um, but that would lean into the idea that the falling star beasts and the stars are tied to sorcery and yeah. study of glintstone and such. So why wouldn't they be connected to intelligence? Real smart. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go sit down. Oh boy, let's grab this. Damn. Oh, Did God. not expect that. Let's take the fun way up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Action right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Nice and comfy. There we go. God, yo, heart rate. Chill. Chill. Again, again. Whee! So, the resistance on... Or rather, just the full Kamehameha damage to um, to a full bar. That means, you know, if you do the math on it, you're like, I got five. If that five doesn't equal the whole life bar, we got to start doing other things. You know? Okay, so we've got a really oh, what a view. good view of Volcano Manor. Big lava at the top. Built on a fucking volcano. Yeah. And uh, Let's hope it doesn't blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering. I guess this pathway is just uh, just for that beast. Yeah. Okay. Do 
Do you think maybe this, like, is a dormant volcano? Yeah. 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 And it's, like, kind of closed off, you know? That's what I believe. Seems like it, eh? Hope it doesn't blow up. Hope so. That was a little wonky, but we made it. Cool. Okay, and now we're doing the cave. How big is this? Massive. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is pretty fucking big. And yeah, you gotta, so gotta, mandible. Gotta two hand it to get its benefits. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Yeah? That is badass. What an interesting ability. It staggered right on. That's a great noise. Multiple staggers. Gravity bolts. Oh my <laughs> god. Neil. That's really interesting. I wonder what how many like will tough enemies go down in two? How much poise damage does that specific attack do? I'm not sure. Can be fired in rapid succession. Hmm. Hold on a second here. Let's find that other uh, demi human. Yeah, what's the range? That's pretty far. Still, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty wow. good. Wow! Holy shit! Yeah, that's pretty good. That is excellent. And you're missing, like, what, two strength or something? And I assume if you're right near, you can just get that repost, right? That's, that's what that sound means. Boom, repost. Okay. Um, that's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, missing two strength only. Two strength. It's coming in at uh, 280. Uh, let's see what that looks like after a couple of upgrades. Because if that int scaling can get a little bit higher, that number is going to get much bigger. Um, how about the weight? Oh, we can hit medium if we keep our... If we keep, uh... Yeah, at least one thing off. Okay. That's worth investigating. Mm -hmm. Um... Not as novel as a flag, but certainly a fucking great weapon. Also... Side note in, in doing the, the, um, the research on uh, the staves, but um, good old glint stone pebble, okay. the weakest, simplest spell yeah. uh, with the scaling we have is also still fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, for very, wow. very, very cheap. You are you're doing some damage uh, that is very real. That's scaling with your intelligence. Getting attention. It's well. a basic ass spell that is worth keeping. Um, and the rocks uh, are also worth keeping. So, uh, yeah, we can maximize our int in quite a few ways.
Uh huh. Rune six. All right. Before we commit to any drops, let's keep the the top side uh, scraped. Blood stains. A lot of them. of pack. I see. Trap ahead. Okay. What are you? What is that? Nice. Taking care of the pack. Whoa. Oh. What's up? A wild mist big garden. Take that out one at a time. Uh huh, uh huh. Boss gate right there. Oh, we also were in the middle of a another cave to, to go back to on the side of the Altus Plateau. We fought one boss, but we didn't do the cave itself. Oh, okay. So keep that in mind as well. Good reminder. Here's another case of, like, boss right away, and then the drop. Mm-hmm. Try blood loss. Interesting. Sure. Let's do another boss first. Who is there? Drink the juice. Oh, one of you. Demi human mm, queen Margot. A chunk of damage. The real cannons are on my fucking <laughs> arms, but I appreciate the weapon. <laughs> wow. We all know where the real cannons are. Damn. Kiss your muscles. These pythons? The gun show? A ballista. A ballista. 34 strength, 12 dex. Jar cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts, deals great damage, but is slow to reload. <laughs> Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Liter Manor. Uh, literal guns. Yep. Literal guns. Was discovered we, we're here. No one knew. All right. Sorry. We got the cannons out. No one knew how to use it. Yep. What the fuck is that? Why is this in our setting? He uses ballista bolts. I mean, is it even a bolt at that point? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, I've got a few of them. Yeah. We've got three different types of great bolts. Uh, not the regulars, though, huh? So when I pull it out, is the ammo going to... Oh! It fires both. It fires great bolts and regular bolts. Yeah, okay. So you need one to fire these special ones. But you can also do these two. Okay. Why would you name a character Margot in addition to having a character named Margot? <laughs> Dude. I don't understand. Story of the game. I legitimately don't understand what the point of that is. Like, that just... See, unless... Like, what? why would you... It just seems like a bad idea to have know. so many people 
so similarly named. And <laughs> if they're in the same names. family, then we're excusing it. But this character has nothing to do with that. And then we got characters lying about their names outright. Yeah, like, <laughs> what a liar. It's part of the Oh, family. it's not, I don't want every character named GRRM. What a fucking liar. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Does it not work? Strength. Oh. Two-handing doesn't matter. Because you are two-handing it anyways. Only uh, big bolts. Oh, no. It, oh, okay. That's what it actually is. It cannot fire regular bolts. You have to equip these. Yeah, okay. Sure. That makes more sense. Oh, it's there. Boom. <laughs> okay, that's a big read -over. Remember the Ballista Zooka? Yeah. <laughs> One of the best things from Mortal Shell. I almost said Mortal Sleeve. That's a fun build option if you want to be a fucking gunner. That's fun. I like that, that that's a choice. Right on. Uh, yeah, as long as the damage is good and you're committed to building and buying more bolts. It works. Have fun. Uh, okay, so... We can go back to the start. And then... Or we can just drop, since we already killed some of those enemies. Right? No need to re-clear. 41k? That's nothing. Yeah. I think these both had a drop. This was the first room. And then there was this. Yeah, okay, so that's where they ambushed me from. Which means down there is the, uh, the full ambush room. So if I get to the surface where they were waiting, maybe there's more to uncover. Yeah. What do you mean here? Liar. Liar. Be wary of left. I'm gonna see if that briar is gonna pay off in the end with a couple of like you know, last minute stagger yeah. touches or here and there. But I, uh, I I did see warning about like do not roll into NPCs in areas where like you're not supposed to be attacking things because like people might have one hit and die. Ambush, Ambush trike area. area. Okay. Oh yeah. How you feeling? How you feeling? Oh, they don't like it. We'll stop selling them. Yeah. Coil shield. <laughs> if if they if they don't farm in nature. Exceedingly rare. Uh poison built up shield. Armament designed for gladiatorial combat rises above its peers as it 
as a particularly showy specimen. The sculpted bronze snake is a poisonous breed, boosting the wielder's resistance to poison. Unique skill, Viper Bite. Give the shield a quick shake to temporarily bring the bronze viper to life, inciting it to lash out and bite foes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm curious. What type of... Uh... Increased resistance are we building, though? That number is not going to go up? I would assume the uh, immunity would go up. Huh. Nothing at all. Uh. Yeah, we meet the requirements. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. You can go full Rathamon build. If you just want to be a snake man... With, like, a viper hand punch in one hand and a snake shield in the other. Uh, this game has the equipment for you. For sure. Okay. Interesting. Um, of course, why inflict poison when you can inflict rot? You know? Make it count. Okay, was this it? I think so. I think we're done. Let's take another look over at this point. Was there a second drop? No, that was the boss room. Uh, that's where we first entered the ambush. Okay, yeah, I think we've done it. Cool. Was it a drop to get in? Or was it a... Uh... Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's just go back. Back to the grace. On mark, and yeah, let's see what the upgrade uh, looks like for that big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. <gasps> Ooh, we now got enough sixes. To keep it going, baby. Damn. Overseas. Here we go. And more frost. Plus over. 18 on those punches. Fuck yes. Don't mind if I do. Uh. Can still plus 19. Let's go. Uh, we have 8, though, so we, we're going to need 12 to get the full upgrade. Mm -hmm. Plus 20. And that's where we stop. Damn. Yeah. Um, so I heard there's some problem with... Like, so I think there's something wrong with, like, like maxing out your weapons. If you Apparently, if you max out, like, you lose damage or something like that. I don't know the full explanation of it. But I, I just saw that being discussed. Oh, was it... Pa okay, there was a patch. It was fixed in 1.03. Never mind. It seems like there were some weapons where, like, when you went to the final upgrade, um, for some reason, their scaling got worse. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, strange. But if that's fixed, then fuck it. Uh, look at that. From 250 to 255. Uh, which is going to put our S into S++. Uh, which is then going to make every cast or every point into int go even further. Uh, so yeah, let's keep that going. Uh, that's two sixes. And then... These are gonna be mainstays. If I wanted to upgrade this, it would need two points into strength. For the one hand. Um, and then we can at least spend the purchasable... One, two, up to three we can buy... 
And then from now on, we're collecting. Uh, we have a lot of fours. Uh -huh. Got a couple of fives. Damage is going up quite significantly there. Uh, yeah. Okay, and we'll stop right there. One somber smitting stone six. Yeah. Cool. Greetings. Are you here for? Uh, I think we're good for now. I can hear it from across mm -hmm. the howling and mm -hmm. wailing. You should keep your distance. Mm -hmm. You strong. Mm -hmm. No remarks about what I'm wearing. Nah. Okay. She doesn't care. Uh, so we were... I wore it better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is uh, where the lightning was striking, and that's where the Windmill Village was. But, uh, admittedly, we still stopped in the middle of the Perfumer's Grotto, and we had beaten the boss, and then there was the rest of the actual area.